Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time and welcome back to the rest of you. So in this video, we're going to be doing an opening of one of the new mini brands Disney Store Edition capsules. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's a company called Suru Toys, which makes mini brands and mini brands specializes in making items for your dolls, basically, right? Like mini versions of things like soda cans and chips, cereal boxes bags accessories stuff like that so they teamed up with disney store to make items that you normally find available in the disney store but mini versions which is great for your dolls so in my video we have ariel a fellow collector as a model and assistant today to showcase all of these for you <laughs> so they are available at target each capsule cost six dollars and 99 cents at least that's the price that i paid for at the moment they're showing up for 7.99 so I originally bought four capsules, but I messed up trying to do TikToks. So I'm down to one capsule and we're going to open it together. And then after we open it, we'll go through all the ones that I already um, opened and take a closer look. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's my last lonely capsule that we're opening. <laughs> it says mini brands, ages three and up, made with recycled plastic, over 50 minis to collect. We have little images of the characters there, Disney, Pixar, Marvel and Star Wars. It's actually pretty hard to open, which I guess it's good, you know, to prevent people from opening them in the stores and stuff like that. Once you take off this plastic, there's another one that's easier to take off. And then we have the actual capsule, which has a little rubber, which you can just take off and then it becomes, you know, it opens up like an orange <laughs> in slices. And there's five of them. So this first one here, yeah, there's five in total. This first one here has um, the list for you to collect, to keep track of, which we'll go over later. And I have here a Spider-Man mask. The packaging of it is actually made out of cardboard. And then the, um, the mask inside is plastic, which is attached there at the back. That's really cool. I didn't expect them to be made out of cardboard. So here's the second one. And we have one of the aliens from Toy Story. So cute. Again, the alien is plastic and everything else is cardboard. It's incredible how they are able to write everything down so tiny, the way they print these. And it actually looks good. Like I'm sure if you got like a magnifying glass, you will be able to probably read it. So this is really cool. I like him. And then now we have a classic doll. I'm really happy about this. I wish I could get all the classic dolls, especially Elsa. So this is Rapunzel. And again, this is tiny. It looks exactly like the classic um, doll from the Disney store. The box, all the drawings, everything is spot on. And the paint job on this little tiny Rapunzel is actually pretty good. She's plastic, everything else is cardboard and the cover is plastic too. Okay, so this is one of the shelves. I already have one. Um, we'll go over them later. I'm definitely not gonna build it on camera. It's a lot of work, trust me. <laughs> and here's the last one. And we have Minnie's phone. I've actually seen this at the Disney store. Really, really cute. Again, it's made out of cardboard and then the actual phone is uh, plastic. Adorable. So now here's a quick look at the pamphlet that comes in one of the slices. So you can kind of see all the items, you know, the common, the special ones. It's a little bit sped up to save time for the video, but you can go ahead and pause and take a picture um, if you need to, take a screenshot if you need to. Okay, so here we have the previous three capsules that I opened off camera for TikTok. This was capsule one, capsule two, capsule three, and we'll take a closer look at them now. So, here are the shelves. I ended up with two of them, the one that I opened on camera and the one that I already had. These are really cute. Of course, they're small versions of shelves. They're not properly sized for a 12 inch doll, you know, but they're super adorable and it works perfectly for the for the items. It's a small version of a shelf, if you will. See, you can stack your items up and have your own like little mini store, which is so, so cute. Okay, so now I wanted to give you a quick look at some of the items that I already opened. I ended up with three different Buzz like years, and two of them are the ultra rare gold, which is actually really cool that I got those. 
These are awesome. The packaging is made out of cardboard and it's 100% accurate to the Disney store. And then the figurine inside is plastic. And for being so tiny, it's actually painted really, really well. All three of them, I got lucky that they're painted very well. Super nice. Then I have two Bo Peeps, which is awesome. I love Bo Peep, you'll know that. And so I got two of them. Super cute, she's adorable. I almost feel like unboxing it because <laughs> one of them came a little bit open. So I wanna show you. Now, as an actual collector, and I actually have this doll, it's 100%. You can actually open it. And of course you cannot take it out because she's attached on there by the back on the cardboard. So if you take it out, you know, you would have to like break the whole thing which I'm not gonna do, you know, there's no need for it. But you could, it would be cute for pictures and stuff like that. I also got a Captain America shield, which is super tiny. It's not really accurate for a doll to use because it's really small, <laughs> but it's so cute. We have a picture here of the Avengers. Again, the, sh um, the shield is plastic and everything else is cardboard. I also ended up with a Infinity um, Captain America toy, toy box. Super cute. I wish I got Black Widow, but it didn't happen for me and that's fine. <laughs> I also have a Star Wars R2-D2 uh, figurine or toy with a plastic case and cardboard and you can see him in there. This is really cool. I've seen him at the Disney store many times too. And of course we have our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He looks awesome. This is a figurine that you could actually take out of the box and give to your doll and it will look really cool. Again, all cardboard and he's made out of plastic. And then I have this cooking Mickey Mouse set or playhouse, something like that. This is all made out of cardboard, kind of like a cereal box. There's like nothing in it, you know? And now my favorite item so far is the Aerial Animator doll. It's made out of plastic with the little flounder as a sticker there. And the box is 100% accurate to you know, the real one. The doll herself looks great, like amazing paint job. So lucky I got a good one. And now we have Lightning McQueen from Cars and it's all made out of cardboard and the car itself and the remote control are plastic. Now I like this one a lot too. We have a little stitch from the toy box with his surfboard and the little gun. Really cute, adorable. Now we have our model and fellow collector Ariel. And we're just gonna put some items on her hand so you can kind of get a feel for the scale with an 11 inch doll, which is really kind of what they're meant for, right? There she has Rapunzel, just super adorable, great addition for pictures and stuff like that. Alrighty, everybody, so that is all for today. I was really hoping that I would get Elsa or some of the other dolls and that didn't happen. So I will definitely buy more of these in the future. I really hope that the company continues to collaborate with Disney Store and makes more of the dolls because we didn't really get any items for Moana, Tiana, Jasmine, Mulan. So I hope those happen in the future. Now let me know what you think of Mini Brands Disney Store Edition in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.